Today marks the 30th anniversary of the May 18th Democratic Movement, which took place in the southern city of Gwangju in 1980. Our correspondent Park ji has this report about today's ceremony in Gwangju. The government organized ceremony for the 38th anniversary of the May 18th Democratic Movement was held Friday morning at the May 18th National Cemetery in Gwangju. Some 5,000 participants, including bereaved family members of the victims, citizens, students and politicians attended the event. In his speech, Prime Minister Lee Nagyan vowed that the government will work hard to find the truth about what happened, much of which, such as who first gave the order to open fire on civilians, are still not known. I believe when the Special Truth Committee on the Democratic Movement formed according to a special act on May 18th enacted during the Moon administration, is launched in September, the committee will clearly reveal all the truth without any restrictions or any doubt. The Prime Minister also called the Democratic Movement the victory of justice, saying that Korea will always remember the sacrifices of Gwangju that contributed to the nation's democracy. Although never confirmed, it is widely thought that there are some 5,000 victims of the massacre, including over 160 deaths, hundreds of others missing and thousands injured. Victims and bereaved family members still haven't gotten over the grief. I witnessed the scene even though I was young. I saw dead bodies, crying family members, so every year the scene comes up as a trauma. My friends were shot many times, bleeding to death. I feel ashamed in front of all those martyrs. Foreign participants also say South Korea's pro-democracy movement has become an inspiration to their countries, too. The spirit of Gwangju is from the minimum to the ultimate. That is, for example, housewives, they made food for those who fight. Those who made sacrifice in, in many, many ways, like giving blood. But this, the ultimatum is to keep lives. This is, this is great. This is something that we need to learn. What is also notable is that wives of a late foreign journalists and pastors who recorded the massacre 38 years ago, either with video cameras or through photographs, to let the rest of the world to know the truth about what happened in Gwangju, were also present at the ceremony, remembering all those who fought for a just and democratic society. The actions of the brave Gwangju citizens who stood up against the injustices of the military dictatorship, even sacrificing their own lives for the cause, eventually led to the end of the military regimes and the start of true democracy in Korea. Park Ji-won, Arirang News, Gwangju.